In this video, I'm going to share with you how to implement a very simple email address validation for your registration form. And my example will work this way. I'll put together three fields, uh, email address, password, and repeat password, and one button. And basically, when user types in incorrect email address and taps on sign up button, we will display an alert message email address is not valid but once user types in correct email address uh, something at domainname.com and taps on the sign up button we will not display anything business logic will fall through and we will just print out in xcode console that email address is valid okay so i have an empty project here with uh, one view controller I will quickly put together a, a registration form, just make it a little bit smaller. Drag fields. I'll go into objects library and find text field for email address. Resize it. And then I will duplicate this field. And that will be for password. And this one will be for repeat password. So I'll select the first field, go into attributes inspector, and then for the placeholder, I will type email address. And then because this is email address, I will change the um, keyboard type to email address. And I'll select password field and this is going to be secure text entry so i will check this checkbox for secure text entry and as a placeholder i will type password and for the second one i will type in repeat password and again for the second field repeat password that's going to be a secure text entry Okay, so the very basic form is ready. Let us um, drag in button. So, and, and then align it a little bit. And that's going to be sign up button. Sign up. Okay, I will now um, select view controller and just in case reset uh, it to suggested constraints okay and then i will hide left side panel select view controller and open it in assistant editor hide right side panel hide the document outline expand it a little bit okay now for my um, button to work i'll need to create an action outlet so i'll select the button hold control button on my keyboard click drag and drop it here and then for the connection type i will choose action and i'll give it a name sign up button tapped okay now so now user when when they tap on sign up button this function will be called and we can reference uh, and read email address and password for us to be able to read the value from the email address text field we will also need to create an outlet so i'll select the text field Hold control button, click, drag and drop it here. And that will be email address text field. Okay, and I'll give it a little space. Now I need one more. Oh, actually we don't really need for password, but if you need if you need for password, just follow, click on the text field, drag and drop and then outlet and that will be a password but in this example uh, we are concerned only about uh, email address text field okay so uh, i will create one for password okay now when user taps on this sign up button what we need to do we need to read the value of email address text field and i will assign it to a new variable that I'm going to create. So I'll create um, provided email address equals, and then the text field that uh, contains email address is called email address text field. So I'll copy it, paste it here, and then I will read its text. Okay. And next we need to verify 
if this email address is correct and i have a ready to use a code example on my blog swift developer blog so if you go to code example section i have plenty of code examples here uh, for you to copy and paste some of them are some of them have already been converted to swift 3 uh, so for example under regular expression i have validate email address code example so i'll click on it it will open the page and here I have a ready to use uh, function that i'm going to copy and paste into my project so what this function does is it accepts email address and then it uses regular expression to validate its format and then if it finds the match it will return true and if it doesn't it would it will return false and this is a basic regular expression it will check uh, if the email address is of a valid format it does not check every single email address variation in the world but for 99% of regular email addresses it will work very well so once we have this email address function now we need to uh, pass our provided email address into that function by the way let me make uh, Xcode a, a little bit the text a little bit larger like this okay so I will create an, um, another um, constant and I'll call it is um, email address valid equals and I will call the function and that function has a signature is valid email address and I will pass provided email address into this function so once this function is called a boolean value will be returned true or false false so now I can check for um, this value so I'll say if is email address valid if it's true I can print out email address is valid otherwise if email address is not valid I can print um, email address is not valid okay so that is a very simple example it will work uh, let me all oh, right uh, we will need to unwrap the provided email address variable so I'll put exclamation mark uh, after it so I'll save it let me quickly run it on iPhone 5 and uh, see if everything is okay at this moment okay my application is up and running so I will simply tap on sign up button and it says email address is not valid here in uh, Xcode output and now I will type something tap on the button email address is not valid I will do add something.com sign up button email address is valid delete couple of uh, letters and then sign up email address is not valid okay so that works now let's bring in the alert messages i will uh, go back to my swift developer blog and i will search the page for ui alert ui alert controller i have a few examples here so i'll copy the very first one create ui alert controller with ok button and by the way all of these examples are how to use certain UI component programmatically so I'll click on this one I bring in code example copy the code and this one has also been converted to Swift 3 already so I will scroll down a little bit and paste this code into my project uh, let me undo it I'll create a function uh, I will name it uh, display alert message I'll um, create a function and this function will accept um, message to display and that's going to be a string and I will paste the code of alert controller into this empty function so now I have to display the message that this function accepts in alert controller so I'll delete this message to display and will replace it by message to display and 
um, I will correct the title so the title will be alert with one button and once the button is tapped we simply print out OK button tapped and that's it so let me save this and now I can call this function from my code so I'll scroll down a little bit and here where email address is not valid I will paste the function name and then uh, copy the signature of this function though this function accepts message to display and copy this string into this function now save it and we are done let me uh, stop and run this example to see how it works okay so um application is up and running i tap on sign up button email address is not valid let me type in something at something.com and click on sign up button and we have email address is valid delete sign up email address is not valid this is it i hope this video was helpful to you and if you like to receive short video tutorials like this please subscribe to my uh, blog at swift developer blog i publish uh, new video tutorials every single week and i publish new code examples in swift every single day and then i tweet and uh, post on facebook and google plus so uh, follow me on twitter google plus or facebook uh, you can find my social network handles almost in every single code example if you click and scroll down there will be my twitter google plus and facebook links